Shoulder pain can severely limit your daily routine and quality of life. For some, a shoulder replacement is the only way to find relief. So today we're starting a six part series on how a person with a debilitating shoulder problem can get back to doing what they love. I am with world renowned shoulder surgeon, Dr. Anthony Romeo. Now, Dr. Romeo, a shoulder replacement seems a bit daunting, but actually it's a very common procedure. It's become a much more common procedure. The modern day shoulder replacement started about 50 years ago and about 20 years ago there was some significant advances in the way the implants were designed to really match the patient's normal anatomy or the shape of their bone and what we saw was not only the pain relief that we had become used to but significant improvements in their range of motion and their function and their ability to return back to both work activities and sports activities we also noticed that this operation wasn't putting a tremendous stress on them overall in terms of their physiology or the way their bodies handle it. So we were able to move many of these procedures into the outpatient setting. So shoulder replacements now can be done frequently in an outpatient ambulatory surgery center, which is really quite an advantage for many patients. It's really great and it can really change someone's life. So let's start our shoulder replacement journey and learn about our patient who we will be following over the next six weeks to see how he gets back to doing what he loves. Hi, my name is Paul Wirewaltz. I'm 49 years old. I am an internal bank auditor and I'm also a heavy practitioner in martial arts. My shoulder would kind of bother me on and off. Nothing that was excruciating, but enough to where it was not what I call the normal. And I didn't think of anything of it. You know, I would dig my thumb in the shoulder, try to loosen up the socket. A few years later, I started to notice range of motion started to go down. So it became more difficult uh, putting a shirt on, putting a coat on bringing my hands up to my head. It felt literally like it's being grabbed, so it's, it's like a poking, stabbing pain. And not being able to show others to really give the best that I have to them really hinders my ability to really be good at what I was doing, which is trying to help others through martial arts and helping them improve themselves. With other options offering little relief, Paul approached Romeo Orthopedics to help remedy his pain and recover his range of motion. I'd already heard a lot of good things about what he's done. Definitely this is the doctor that seems to be right in play with what I would look for and it was pretty much an easy decision at that point. Paul hoped that the team at Romeo Orthopedics would create a major positive change in his lifestyle. Check your strength, so press up on my hands. Good, elbows to your side. The most important thing is that if you listen to your patients, they'll tell you exactly what the problem is, but you gotta listen. And so Paul explained to me his shoulders were giving him some problems. He was having trouble at times with sleep at night. It interfered with some of his activities. It doesn't really want to move very well. Let's go the other direction. It was very clear, especially at his relatively young age of 49, the problem was either a rotator cuff problem, which is actually more common at that age, or arthritis of his shoulders. X-rays confirmed that Paul was suffering from osteoarthritis and had developed large bone spurs as a result. The good news was that this initial visit to Dr. Romeo was the start of Paul's journey to get pain relief and get back to the things he loved to do. Once we start to discuss the various options with Paul, it's very important that we develop a trust that we're going to be on the same team. He knew exactly what the issue was. The manner in which he communicated was straightforward, gave me a lot of confidence in what he's doing, and it was pretty much a, an easy decision to say, this is the doctor that I wanted working on my shoulder. On the next installment of Advancements in Healthcare, we'll learn what action our team will take to remedy Paul's shoulder and get him back to the things he loves. If you're having shoulder or elbow pain or questions about treatment options, visit RomeoOrthopedics.com to find out the best treatment options for you.